you're looking to step up your cocktail game, serving a cocktail inside of an ice ball is pretty much guaranteed to impress your guests. I get asked enough how to make these and I figured it was time to finally create a tutorial. Alright, to get this together you're going to need some kind of seasoning injector or syringe, a little hammer to crack the ball open, a tiny funnel, um, a standard ice ball mold, and actually a soldering iron comes in handy, although it's not 100% necessary. Uh, you can get all this stuff on Amazon pretty cheap, I'll provide links in the description. First step is to fill up the ice ball mold as you normally would, using either tap water or filtered water. Then just drop it in the freezer. And what we're aiming for here is to freeze it just enough so about only a quarter centimeter of a shell remains. Now my freezer is relatively warm so it takes me about three hours total to do this. And about halfway in you want to flip it upside down to make sure it freezes evenly. So of course if you have your freezer set to be cooler this may not take quite as long. Um, so you may have to play around with it and see what works best for you. At this point if you have a soldering iron go ahead and plug that in to get it warm. Then run some cold water over the ice ball mold just to loosen it up a bit. And so here's where you need to extract that water from inside the ice ball mold. You can see it's frozen solid on top. Now to puncture that top, you can actually use that syringe and just sort of heat it up a little bit. But this is where the soldering iron becomes really handy if you have one. Uh, because you're going to make a slightly bigger hole that you can use for a garnish later. Do a quick check to make sure the bottom of that funnel fits into the hole. So this is the fun part. Time to extract that water from inside the ice ball. You may think, why can't I just turn it upside down and pour it out? Well, with the amount of water that's in there and the fact that there's only one hole on top, it's actually quite difficult. So uh, this is where the syringe comes in. That last little bit of remaining water should be pretty easy just to dump out. And what's left is just that shell of an ice ball, which again should ideally be about a quarter centimeter thick. Now you can just store these in the freezer within a Tupperware container until you're ready to use them. It's actually quite important that you put the ball in the container with the hole facing upwards because the bottom will sort of melt a little bit and form a bit of a stand. So when you're ready to serve this, just start by making your favorite cocktail. Uh, here I'm making a classic rye Manhattan, so starting with two ounces of Rittenhouse rye. One ounce of your favorite sweet vermouth. And finally, two dashes of Angostura bitters. And that hole you made at the top of the ice ball is a great space for a little garnish like this lemon peel. Okay, you're ready to present the cocktail. Start by very carefully sliding that ice ball into a rocks glass. Carefully insert the funnel into the ice ball and pour the cocktail in. Try to get it to come up just to the top without spilling over, maybe leaving a little bit of room if you're going to stick a garnish in. For this Manhattan, we're just going to express the oils from the lemon peel, curl it up a little bit, and stick it right in the hole there at the top. Grab the little hammer, and let's smash that ball open. 